Something has to happen. We can't have anybody else dealing with what my family's dealing with or something worse. Now at five, a Columbus family is calling on drivers to slow down in Franklinton after a 67 year old woman was hit earlier this week. Dorinda Graff was crossing West Broad Street when police say a driver sped through the crosswalk and threw her <coughs> 25 feet. The driver was cited for driving without a license and failing to stop for a pedestrian. Thank you for joining us tonight on 10 TV News at five. I'm Yolanda Harris and I'm Angela and tonight the family is also calling for increased security and safety as 10 TV Carla Rogner reports they hope people will be more mindful of pedestrians. She joins us now live with their message tonight. Carla? Yeah, that's right. We've watched today as cars have gone right through this crosswalk, even as the lights were activated. This is where Dorinda Graff was crossing the street to get back to her job at Lower Lights Health Center when she was struck. She was taken to Grand Hospital with severe injuries, and her family says it's going to be a long road to recovery. When I say God was watching out for her, that was God that protected my mom that day and didn't take her away from us. Danelle Deal got a call on Tuesday afternoon that her mother, Dorinda Graff, had been hit by a truck. She beat the ambulance to Grant Hospital where her mother immediately went into surgery. She broke 11 ribs and her collarbone and has a partially collapsed lung. She's going to have a very long road to recovery. Deal says her mother uses the crosswalk at West Broad in South Yale almost daily. She's always said it, it, it's a little dangerous through there, but if you know my mom, she has very little fear and she will conquer any fear that she does have. So she's going to be the one to lead other people instead of allowing them to live in fear. Police say the crosswalk lights were flashing and other cars had stopped, but the driver of the truck sped right through at around 45 miles an hour. Something has to happen. We can't have anybody else dealing with what my family's dealing with or something worse. Ohio law requires drivers to yield to pedestrians in a crosswalk. Yeah. We decided to test out the crosswalk ourselves. You can see one car speeds through the crosswalk right in front of me. Most other cars stopped. I would say seven out of 10 times traffic don't stop. Some stop, but not all traffic stops. Trisha Freeman works in the area. She said the intersection needs a stoplight. People need to be safer. They need to watch for people out here because someone's going to get seriously hurt or killed. I mean, one got seriously hurt, but someone's going to get killed next. I mean, it's sad. It's somebody's mom, sister, you know, you never know who it is. Let's make sure everybody gets home safe. And Dorinda's family expects that she'll be at Grant for at least another week, but they say that she's a fighter. Live in Franklinton, Carla Rogner, 10TV News.